So hello and welcome to my channel uh, and today's video, another Home Bargains haul. Uh, I'm looking a little bit uh, dishevelled now. This is now my third video in a row so I apologise if I'm looking a little bit uh, <laughs> flustered. Uh, so if you've been following my channel recently, you'll know I'm getting into artificial flowers a bit. I keep buying vases. Anyway, I saw this one. I had my eye on this for quite a while, the Crackle vase. And they come in bronze and silver. And they are actually almost, you can see through them once the light goes behind them. And I bought this to put some artificial flowers in and it just didn't look right. I don't know why, it just didn't have the desired effect. So I thought, I'm going to stick my cactus in it. Now, I've got to hold it very carefully because it underneath it's ba balancing on two ramekins uh, to make sure that the cactus is high enough. But I thought that looked lovely. So they were three ninety nine. Like I say, they had them in the bronze and the silver. Uh, and I thought that was just a little bit of a different idea. I think that might go on our uh, on our side in the kitchen. Just some biscuits and chocolates. Featured these before. All these are all. Uh, I think they're all ninety nine p. Bar one. So grab some more of these. The Kellogg's uh, biscuit moments in chocolate. If you ever see these for ninety nine p, grab them because they're normally normally one ninety nine. Skinny whips. I wouldn't be surprised if the sale of skinny whips has uh, trebled since I've started eating them. Uh, I think I get through about three boxes a week. I absolutely love them. These are my favourites at the moment. Toffee and chocolate. Uh, they do just a double chocolate, which I do like as well. And one with strawberry, which my friends bought me some of those, Amanda, and I've not tried them yet. 99p. 90, less than 99 calories. I think they're 96. Oh, yes. Fancy me knowing that. Yes, they are. Absolutely delicious. Nicer out the fridge. These are the ones that were more than 99. These were £1.69. Again, if you see these, grab them. In fact, they weren't. They were 129. They were on a special offer. Um, but these are always a little bit more expensive in the supermarkets. Have they got a later, shorter shelf life? Yes. Aha, best before the end of April. Right, okay, so it's old stock, they're shifting, but I don't mind because I'll eat them by then. If you've never tried these before, they are absolutely delicious treats. Uh, I think, no, the chocolates are my favourite, but I do like the salted caramel squares. The chocolatey ones like a fudge brownie, and then the lemon drizzle's really nice as well. And they did a birthday limited edition not long ago, and Amanda, who I was just telling you about earlier, she bought some and gave me one. Oh my goodness. Woo but limited edition only, so if you see them, oh, delightful. Brunch bars, these ones are for Alan. Cadbury uh, peanut brunch bar. Uh, shelf life's a bit longer on those, August. Uh, so he likes those. In fact, I don't know if he's tried them before, so I don't know why I'm saying he likes them, but I'm sure he will. These are also for Alan. These are in the specials. Never seen these before. Salted Caramel Twix. Uh, single fingers, 99 pence. You get nine in there. And 113 calories per bar. Yeah, they're new. So they sound pretty tasty, don't they? A couple of bits of cleaning next. Uh, I featured this recently on another video. You might not have seen that one yet. This is my favourite Fabulosa smell. It's the wild rhubarb. Absolutely love it. Really struggling to get hold of it recently. Not because of this uh, pandemic that is on. Just in general, in the last few months, I've not been able to grab this from the shops. It's really nice. Um, I got a bottle from a pound stretcher, but that was 99p. Home bargains, 89 pence. So this is just an anti-back. Uh, is it anti-back? Does it say that actually? No, it doesn't. Well, it says disinfectant. Oh, yeah, here we go. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Love that one. Really like that. Delightful smell. And then I saw this one. This is not one I've seen before. Electrify. <laughs> so, let me just have a little sniff. I remember in the shop, I really like this one. Oh, yes. Hmm. It's a cross between men's aftershave and strawberries. <laughs> anyway, I really like that one. I thought that would be great because I do add a cap full of um, either Zaflora or Fabulosa to some of our washing. 
uh, especially sports kit and that one has got sort of a nice um, sporty smell to it I suppose so 99 pence uh, this one also eliminates odours so yeah looking forward to giving that one a go I'm not one really for candles but I saw these and I thought these would be lovely to include in a little giveaway uh, these are the Airwick mini little candles in a jar Yeah, they smell nice. Purple Blackberry Spice. So normally these are only 49 pence each. Don't suppose they burn for that long. Uh, but they've got them on offer at the moment. You get three for a pound. So I just thought, what I'm doing is, I'm, as I'm seeing bits and bobs that might you know, be quite popular in um, giveaways or people might like, I'm just picking them up. So then when I come to do one, I can just grab a few bits, make up a little box and say, hey Presto, I've got a giveaway. <laughs> Cod liver oil tablets, I've used these for a long time. High strength, 30 capsules, 69 pence. Not used this before. I've talked before on the channel about the fact, my love for uh, Roland deodorant. So this is a Garnier one, uh, Invisicool, 48 hours protection. Not sure why uh, you need that long, but, and it's the anti-white mark one. Ooh, look at the size of that ball. Oh yeah, that's very, mm, that's very nice. I did have a little sniff in the shop actually. It doesn't actually say which fragrance it is. Maybe they just go by the colour of the top, I don't know. But they had a couple, they're only 99p. Uh, so I thought, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, have a bit of a change up for once. Grab these little rascals, look at those. Elegant Touch are really good nails anyway. In boots, they're probably about 6 99 a pack. Um, home bargains tend to stock them, but usually slightly random colours, but I like these. These are the Pink Paradise Powder Pout, crikey, say that when you've had a few wines. Uh, coffin, and they're sort of a shimmery, fuchsia pink. Uh, how many do you get? 24 nails with glue, usually fine. So at the minute, these, what I've got on today, are from Poundland, and they are thin. They look okay, but they won't last very long. They'll ping off soon. Whereas more expensive ones are thicker and they last a lot a lot longer on your nails. Um, in fact, saying that, I had some Primark ones on the other day. The slightly more expensive ones, I think they were £2 or two fifty, And they lasted me the whole week. And they look great after a week. So anyway, these will go in the store cupboard for the summer. And they were one ninety nine. Grab some more hair clips. Uh, I've had these before. I wear this smaller size uh, in the back of my bun. This is a new thing I've started doing actually. I'm trying to uh, change the bun shape a little bit. I think I'm going to be one of those old ladies. What was it like? Aggie or whatever her name was. The cleaner and end up with this for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, that's another story though anyway. But yeah, I've started rather than using pins, clipping it up, but I keep snapping them. Uh, the, the prongs keep snapping off. I don't know why, maybe I'm a bit heavy handed. These are a little bit too big, but it comes in the pack. And I did have a look in Primark, but they only sell really small or really big ones as well. So I couldn't remember where I got them from actually. So I was quite pleased when I saw them in Home Bargains. So you get the three there for 99 pence. So these caught my eye in the wedding section. Um, I'm putting together a bit of a crafting caddy, which I keep talking about. Not actually done any crafts yet, um, but for when I retire at some point. Uh, 99 pence, glitter confetti. I presume this is the stuff you just put on the tables. Um, it's got some that are like sparkly and then some that are just plain silver. Um, yeah, I like those. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but they caught my eye and I thought, They'll be the sort of thing that you go back for and they'll be gone. So I grabbed this. This looked a bit funky. Um, I'm not sure if I've had one of these before. Uh, so this is a face mask, sheet mask and with serum. So you've got the sheet mask that side, serum that side, peel that off, open the top, pop it in. And then you take your mask out, put that on, wear it for 20 minutes and rub this in. But I think with this, you've got a bit more control over how much of the, uh, the liquid you actually put in. And it's the Regenerating Serum Enriched with Vitamin C and Hydrolauric Acid. Hmm. Refreshes, renews and firms and brightens skin. 99 pence. 
Very nice too. Something else for the crafting. Uh, to be honest, I just thought I'm going to get this because I reckon at some point in my life I'm going to need it. So it's a colour palette, ideal for mixing paints. So it's like a flower, plastic flower, it's only 69p. But I thought it would be quite good for mixing foundations, moisturisers if you're using different things in there, if you want to put a hint of something else in it, as well as paint. There's going to be a lot of uses for this, I'm sure, at some point. And again, as with anything in Home Bargains, if you don't grab it, next time you'll go, it'll be gone. If not, I'll use it in a few years when my ne nephew is old enough to paint and he can mix his paints in it. I'm sure he won't mind it being a flower shape. Grabbed a load of sweets. You get five for a pound. I got Alan five sherbet dibbers. No, four, three. Three sherbet dibbers. One of these for me. Oh, and then I got a big long flump. I ate that on the way out. So hungry. Uh, but I love this. Chewy Nougat. And these are Barrett Sweets. They've got like the special, um, they're like uh, like reminiscing things. You know, the Wham Bar as well. And I tell you what, I'm sure these used to be a lot bigger when I was younger. Raspberry and vanilla flavoured Nougat with peanuts. Ah, actually, if I remember now, yeah, I didn't like the peanutty bit in them. You spit that bit out, but the rest of it will be very nice. Yummy. So a little disclaimer here, Mum, if you're watching, please turn off. I'm not sure how many of my videos she watches, but just in case. So my mum is now a grandma, got a lovely little nephew. I'll insert a little picture of him here. He's very cute, isn't he? Uh, so mum is a very glamorous grandma. So I thought this would suit her down to the ground. glam -ma. And that's sort of a pink and rose goldy, lovely little china mug or cup. Uh, 149 doesn't come in a box but I just thought that's a nice little sort of a bit of a gimmick really but I'm hoping she'll like it and then I just picked up I've spoken about these before on the channel love these home bargain reusable bags uh, black and white spotty and they do a red and white spotty 79 pence I would say at the minute these are my favorite go-to reusable shopping bags they're a lovely shape they're really strong keep the shape they're fantastic and then to go with that for my mum unfortunately it's not quite the same but this umbrella um it's actually quite expensive for home bargains but it's a bit of a rip-off on radley it's the little scotty dogs uh and i'm wondering it's harrison mabel which must be a brand hope that's not a Christmas tag still on there. But anyway, she, Mum loves Radley and I thought that was lovely. It was at 3 99 but a nice size black umbrella to go with the shopper. I am a fan of a, a Brolly shopper combo as a gift. I think it's really nice. Uh, my boss bought me one. Uh, when was it? Last year, I think. Uh, really nice. She got it from Paper Chase. A brolly and a little bag and I love it I, I keep it for special occasions for when I go shopping but um, it's just nice to keep back and it's nice to uh, have a matching set although they're not matching mum I'm afraid but you get the gifs and then finally look at this now you will have seen by now the issue I had with the last tray that I bought uh, it was one of those ones that you put on an arm Anyway, I've got to take the legs off it. But my mum loves uh, of an evening when everything's finished. She likes to go up to her bed, put her iPad on, glass of wine or a cup of tea in this. Um, and then she'll sit there and watch, and watch stuff on her iPad. And Or if I go and stay sometimes, I'll go in with her and um, she'll make me in the morning you know, a cup of tea and biscuits or whatever. And I thought this tray was a really nice size. It's white and it says, home is where mum is. I thought that was lovely. $2.99. Um, and I thought that's actually nice enough to actually keep in your bedroom, isn't it? It's not like a normal dinner tray. Uh, it's not really big enough for dinner. 
I don't think it's got, that's not the purpose, is it, to put dinner on it? You could, I suppose. But I just thought for a cup of tea and a few biscuits or, uh, I don't know, to balance her iPad on with a glass of wine so she's not reaching out and knocking things, you know, when it's a bit dark or whatever. So I hope she likes that anyway. And then for the first time ever, I got one of these. I finally bought enough things in one go. Got the giant shopper. Uh, yeah, I bought too much stuff. I bought all of that and I had to get it back on my bike. I thought, oh, Belinda, you're dicing with death. So I thought, no, fill one of these whacking great big bags. And I'm not kidding, I had it hanging off the handlebar. I didn't ride it. I do sometimes try and ride with shopping. I did not attempt it, but I pushed it up the street with it hanging off one side put some heavy stuff in my uh, rucksack because I also bought some milk and some squash. Whew, it was a workout in itself. Um, but everything got home and it was raining. Everything got home dry. Everything's safe. As you can see, it's all here for the haul. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Um, I've got to stop doing these hauls. I'm buying far too much stuff and I don't know where I'm going to keep it all. So I may lay off them for a while. I need to Think of some other things to do on this channel. One that doesn't involve a load of stuff and two that doesn't cost me money. I mean, to be honest, most of the stuff I do buy is things that um, I will need at some point. Uh, but yeah, I reckon if the coronavirus hits our house, I think we can survive for a good few months on all the items that I've got in our cupboards. They're absolutely packed to the rough. Not that I've done it for that reason, just stuff I've picked up as we've gone along. I've got a bit of a shopping problem, I think. Anyway, so that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please uh, give me a big thumbs up or a big like if you have. And if you're not already a subscriber, it'd be great if you wanted to subscribe to the channel. Um, it really does mean a lot. I know people say that, but it does. It, it, it The channel will not grow without your support. So the fact that you do support me, it means a lot to me. So if you want to leave me a comment, I'll write back to you and uh, we can have a little chat. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So bye for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? Bye for now.